Hey guys, I'm on a boating syndication Australia boat today. This is a Fairline 58. Boating Syndication Australia are the largest share boat operation in Sydney and in fact Australia, I think. They've got to 60 boats in that Sydney alone. So an incredible operation. They know what they've been doing. They've been doing it for a while. And uh, what does share boat do for you? Okay, well, it's completely different to buying your own boat. You don't get to use it every weekend because it's not your boat, but you do get to use a boat that is far more expensive than you potentially can afford. So you get the luxury of a boat, um, but for a lot less money than you'd normally put into it. So this one is a perfect example. We're on a 2013 58 foot Fairline and the share available in her is $125,000 for a 12.5% share. So there are eight owners in this particular vessel. And that means that you have a monthly fee that you pay that um, goes towards your birthing, your insurance, your maintenance, all those sorts of things. Um, and then um, when you have done you have done your period of time in the share, three years, whatever it is, you can then either sell out of that boat and get your share money back, or you can continue just paying that monthly fee and stay within the boat. Sometimes the boat will be sold totally, and then you'll get your share of what that sale amount is back. So um, if you're an eighth share, you'll get, um, and this boat, I'm guessing she'd go for about 800 to a million-ish, um, probably closer to the million in the current market. So um, that means you're gonna get an eighth of that back, which is about the 125 you pay when you come into it. So um, great way to get into boating, especially if you think you would love a big boat like this, but you're not quite sure. It's a good way of not tipping a couple of mil or something into a boat. Um, you can enjoy it and see what it's like, get used to it and go, hey, this is cool. I will give you a word of warning though. With a share boat, everything is done for you. You rock up to this boat and the bed's made. It's all clean and tidy. There's uh, toilet rolls in the bathrooms and there's even uh, you know hand wash and everything to go so um, that doesn't happen in your own boat unless you've got a captain or somebody that takes care of your boat a vessel manager so um, just be mindful of that with um, with share boats you will get used to the level of service I came onto this boat today and the captain even took the, my bags off my hands it's pretty cool so um, we're going to go through and see what this beautiful boat has. I hope you noticed that ensuite in the master. Biggest ensuite in a master I've ever seen in a boat of this size. Absolutely amazing. Um, we've got a day head in here, which also acts as an ensuite to this twin cabin in here. And then you've got some spectacular refrigeration down here. So down here, you've got two very large fridges in here. And again, because it's a BSA boat, this one is actually stocked. And you can buy things from that fridge during your cruise. So, I mean, how good is that? And then in here, we have the third cabin. And she has an ensuite as well, just around the corner in here before but I just want you to see it again because this goes broadside which is amazing but this ensuite which is in the head of the boat that's why they're called heads because they originally all were in the head um, so she is just an incredible incredible ensuite so I just want you to take that in again feature in there just see that little night light that little triple light there that's a night light and that's the sort of features when you're looking at boats, you check out and see what they've got. Isn't she fabulous? We'll go upstairs now. So we're on the helm of the Fairline 58 now. Um, she does have a yacht controller on her. For those of you have, that have not experienced a yacht controller before or a dockmate, same principle. Um, these are designed to Put the computers of the engines and the 
bow thruster and stern thruster together to allow you to be anywhere on the boat, because this is connected by kind of a Wi-Fi connection to um, the actual helm, to allow you to move the boat around from any part you're standing on the boat. So really great when you're going into a berth, also really good when you're anchoring, especially if you're on your own, because you can be out there putting the anchor down with the anchor as well. Um, but you can move the boat around at the same time. So really, really cool yacht controllers and dog mates. Um, then we've got twin engines, obviously, and she's got um, bow thruster and stern thruster, as I mentioned before. Because she is so beamy and those twin, twin props are so far apart, she's actually really, really good for maneuvering. She's really um, stable and uh, she's really easy to, she, she's got, strong props so um that's probably not a very good term but it's, it works for me right um the fact is that she's got a good bite so she will move well for you we're going to go through to the saloon now so fair lines are quite clever in that they create a galley but it doesn't look really obvious so it's actually really neat when it's not in use. So for example, just here we've got a chopping board, but underneath that chopping board, we've actually got our hob. And then we've got a nice hidden fridge in here, a hidden dishwasher in here, and then we've got our nice hidden sinks in here. So we've got a double sink. Now, my favorite, favorite feature on this boat is these windows. So these windows actually go down and they create a beautiful breeze across the saloon. That is just, I don't know why my more boats don't do that. It's just spectacular. There is a big sunroof as well and these skylights are fantastic, but there is this fantastic um, electric blind that goes across those as well if it's a bit of a warm day for you. We've got a lovely big cockpit space out here. clever cockpit table that you just fold out to make bigger and twist around. Um, lovely fitted seating. She's got an ice maker in here, a barbecue here with her, a kayak, you can put um, a lily pad. Um, she does have a tender on the back that you can use. She also has um, a passerelle that goes out into the water on this boat. She's got a lovely, lovely sun lounger on the bow and she's got an absolutely awesome electronic awning that comes out over here and completely covers this seating area as well. So if you are looking to enjoy a big boat for a lot less money than you have available to yourself or you're just wanting to try it out then um, a BSA boat is a great way to go. We've got our captain on board today as well which means I don't have to think about driving the boat or anchoring the boat or anything um, and he'll put the lily pad out for us and he'll you know do all the things that we would love to do but don't have to do I mean how cool is that so um, that's really good you can book a captain when you're um, using the BSA boat um, and um, it's just a way of going boating without thinking about it I don't have to think about the maintenance of this boat if I was a share owner in this boat um, I, don't, I don't have to think about the insurance. I don't have to worry about the birthing. BSA do all that worrying for me. So um, that, that is how BSA works. Um, I will put their details in the content of this video so that you can see how to contact them and so on. But I highly, highly recommend getting in touch with them. If you do and you do end up buying a share, make sure you tell them you heard about it on the Boat Princess because I will do a lovely Boat Princess welcome pack for you when you buy your share, just to say, you know, welcome to the world of boating because I love, love, love um, the BSA gets more people into boating because they make it so accessible and they make it so easy to do and they do all of the care of the boats for you. So that's Boat Share. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. Um, you take care and I'll see you on the water soon.